Uh, we're looking at our Vinogradsky Column Beauty Contest here. So these are lots of different Vinogradsky columns. Sergei Vinogradsky was a pioneer of um, microbiology and a, and a contemporary of Louis Pasteur and Robert Koch. Um, but he was slightly considered a bit of a madman at the time because he believed that what we should be looking at is whole ecosystems of bacteria um, rather than studying one bacteria in isolation, um, which is kind of necessary for medical microbiology um, in the past. But now with techniques like whole genome sequencing, we can actually start to study how bacteria work as part of a whole ecosystem. And they change their behavior in different places. So if you've got Staphylococcus aureus living on your body, it may actually behave in different ways and actually change its DNA depending on where it is in the body and how it interacts with you. So his, his ideas of this kind of whole ecosystem microbiology, which he wrote about in his famous text, The Microbiology of Soil, um, is now becoming a sort of current paradigm for microbiology, sort of 130 years after he kind of talked about it in the first place. Um, so he invented this method of culturing sulfur bacteria um, in these kind of methods called Vinogradsky columns, where you put in different layers of stuff. And we've been doing workshops here at the Welcome Collection um, over the past few days so people can make their own. And you use salt marsh mud, um, egg yolk, um, eggshell, plaster of Paris, tree bark, torn up newspaper, topsoil and water. And then you put the lid on and you leave it and the bacteria that are in the salt marsh mud start to do their thing. And over time they create these amazing ecosystems where depending on how much oxygen is getting down there or how much light is getting to it, um, because they do react to the light, um, you create these, these wonderful layered um, ecosystems. And you can kind of create images where the, if the light is prevented from getting to part of the column, you'll grow things like the purple bacteria that like more darkness. So you can put them in different kinds of light and, um, and it will change in different ways. These two that Simon Parks made, one was kept in the dark and this one was kept in the light. So you can see that really affects them as well. So pretty much everything you do to them will personalise them in some way. It's a, it's a really complex ecosystem, so it changes and changes with the slightest, slightest sort of differences. This one has lots of different cyanobacteria in it and this beautiful green that it's creating. You can keep them with you for your whole life. They, they don't take much care and they're kind of... Work as kind of amazing pets, really, as well.